man, we got around OG7 back here. Hey guys, I just got in from my right hip prehabilitation to strengthen the surrounding muscles. And I was advised after the, you know, I go to the prehab while my, my hip is warmed up. It's got blood circling in there. I got the steroid shot. You know, I got all the stuff, you know, the stuff to help me. They advised me to go to the actual gymnasium and ride the, um, um, you know, ride the stationary bike to, to improve the blood flow and to take the last lactic acid out. So while I was in the gym, I was thinking to myself, man, I don't want, I don't want you guys to be that guy. And I want to show what you what I'm going to show what I'm talking about, man. Here's the guy I don't want you to be, man, because in order to get good with women, dude, you can't be that guy that gives them attention, dude, and give them what they want because it, it doesn't work. It backfires. So let me share this information with you right here, guys. Finally understand that men actually have to budget women in their finances. First dates, gifts. Okay, so right off the bat, guys, um, I want to share with you what it means to be that guy. And that guy is not me. It's like when you pointed that guy over there. You don't want to be that guy. Here's the guy that you don't want to be. I want to share I want to break it down to you as simple as I can. Modern women do it's like a it's like a light switch. Either it's on or it's off. How do you know when it's off? Because she requires you to take her on first dates and take her to dinner and get her hair done and her nails done and get her in an outfit and take her on trips. Like this, like a couple of dudes I know here in Vegas, they be taking women out on the first dates, three or four or five hundred dollar dates. And guess what, guys, they don't even get the hit. Whereas me, I'm not trying to tell you to be me, but let's just say polar extremes of opposite. This is me right here, the savage, and this is that guy. When I meet these women, whether I meet them in the supermarket or the gym or the dojo or the yoga places or just walking down the street sometime, dude, or whether I'm getting gas. And I, I, I get them together, man, and I tell them, I tell them one of two things. Like, first, I tell them, hey, you know, go ahead and call my phone because I'm, I'm in a hurry right now. I got a business meeting to attend to. But there's something I want to tell you about yourself you're going to find very interesting that piques their curiosity. So the ones that are in compliance and call my phone, I text them and say, hey, this is what I say, guys. Hey, what are you doing? It's later this evening. Come over to my place. We have a few drinks. And the reason I say that, I let them run right off the bat. I'm not that guy. Like, I'm not taking you to dinner. I'm not taking you to movies. I'm not taking you on a date. I'm not doing any of that stuff until we slept together. Because I'm not I'm not the made of male cup provider. So I just wanted to plant that seed for you guys. So let's listen to this. You don't, have, you don't make a budget for women in your life, dude. Spontaneous trips. I don't see nothing wrong with a smoothie date for the first date. I don't even know each other. <laughs> This is something you've never told your ex. I didn't actually like him. We were like talking for like five months. So here's another thing I want to tell you about not being that guy. That guy that she's talking about. Let me share something with you guys. Women are always single. And you got to ask yourself, man, you know, what do you mean, OG Silverback? Because you tell us it's like, it's normally nationwide. It's like 10 women every man. So of course they're going to be single. No, listen to what I'm saying. They're always single because even when a girl has a boyfriend, women look at boyfriends like a placeholder. And I want to share this with you because I've been doing a lot of research and really getting to the science of female psychology and female behavior and understanding how the internet and Instagram and dating the apps have changed the whole dating stratosphere. 80% of women are going after the top 20% of the men. The top 20% of the men are just, they're not committing, they're not settling down, but women have hopes. They keep hope alive, and they, they hope that this guy will finally pay attention to them. So in the meantime, they have a placeholder because, let me tell you something, guys, I want you to understand this. Whether it's a nice girl or a bad girl or a, a pretty girl or a fat girl or a homely girl or an average girl or the girl next door, women are not going without sex, bro. They're not like men being sexist when i'm talking about going without sex i'm not talking about like you guys who stroke your chicken every time the wind blows you get a boner you get you run home you got to choke your chicken i'm talking about man they, they regularly get it in with guys bro 
And so they got different, they got what's called orbiters. So you got to look at it like, what's the planet that's got all those different rings around? I think it's Saturn. And depending on your attractiveness and your alphaness, you, you, it depends on how close you are to being able to hit. Now, the alpha dude that want, that she wants, he, he's too busy hitting other girls, but whenever he's ready, he'll hit it. But in the meantime, they have a placeholder to keep their vagina nice and open and loose getting hit. And they'll have a boyfriend, dude, that they don't even really like. And you don't want to be that guy. Oh, so you just let him off for five months? Basically. She let that dude on for five months. Five months of his time, energy, resources, emotion wasted on a female who had zero interest in him. So let me share something with you guys about not being that guy. And this is how I live. I'm not trying to tell you what to live and how to live. I'm telling you how I live. So hopefully you can pick some gems up from it. You can pick up some pebbles. You can pick up some knowledge. You can pick up some scraps, whatever you want to say. You get to see a different way of life. I schedule my days where I'm, my time is filled up every hour of the day. I got activities going on because I'm trying to do this acting thing. I'm trying to do this movie thing. I'm packing up, selling my furniture. I'm selling jewelry. I'm just getting downsizing, man. I'm shredding files, mailing stuff out. My day is packed up. So what happens is, dude, as I'm going about my day, if I run, if I happen to run into a creature who is exceptionally exceptional to me in the way that I think I view women, like, you know, she's giving me indicators of interest. Her body's banging. I can feel she's got some cool energy. I can feel that she's, in, she's compliant. She's malleable. I'll hit her up, and this is what I do, guys. I schedule her into my day, my time, so I don't go out of my way to schedule nothing extraordinary, dude. So I give an example, man. Like if I'm going to the gym, I have, I've have, I have a girl meet me at the gym, dude. If I'm going to Marsh Arts Place, I have her meet me there. If I'm going to yoga, I have a girl meet me there. You know what I'm saying? Or let's say, for example, uh, Starbucks close to there. So I'm already going there, so when I get done with my workout, I might have a protein shake at Starbucks or Jamba Juice or whatever, but it's within what I'm already going to do. And so it's not a waste of my time because, man, I don't I don't really trust women, dude. I know that I'm not in the top 20 percent. So the women that I'm getting, dude, they're just like placeholders for me, man, until until I get to where I'm going to be as far as being a high status male, which is coming very soon. Who wasn't even attracted to him. And his thing, this is not uncommon with women. They do this stuff all the time due to the fact that they have so many guys that are trying to hang out with them, dudes in their DMs, dudes on dating apps, dudes over here, dudes over there. They're trying to get with them and everything. So you should be like, okay, you know what? I can't tell them that I'm not really interested in like that because that's going to kill my chances of getting... And here's how not to be that guy. Don't be trying to get with women. Try to have women get with you, dude. You know what I mean? That's why I tell them, man, call my phone. I'm going to tell you something interesting about yourself that no, nobody's ever told you before because I can see something about you that's very fascinating and I want to share it with you. So I already got her curious, dude, and uh, she's going to get with my program. I'm not, I'm not trying to get with her, bro. I'm on my purpose and on my mission, on my passion. It is resources, it's time, it's free attention, it's free validation. So women just lead you on. So here's the equivalent of that, all right? And I'm quite sure you guys have been there. If you see a girl that you don't really want to be with long term in a relationship, you don't want to want to want to date with her, you want to take her out. What most dudes do is they get a chick and they just have her come over. They just smash. They just hook up. Okay, go. That's that's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's okay if you follow that paradigm because, dude, you're doing the same thing that women do. And for all those guys out there who be making comments on my channel talking about, oh, I hate women and I mistreat women and. And you know what I got against women, dude? Let me tell you something. I'm just doing the same thing that women do, man. So all this equal rights and everything, dude. If, if women, if like, if women say everything a man can do, a woman can do, then everything a woman can do, I can do. So don't get it twisted with that beta mouse chimpanzee, uh, you know, beta bench warmer boy, soy boy provider stuff. Don't don't put that energy on me, dude. Because if a woman can do it, then I'm going to do it. That's how you play fair in this. This, uh, this battle of, of love and war, man. And after that, they just keep it moving. And the girl's like, so where are we going to go on a date? You know, are you like a homebody? We don't go, you don't go out much. And you're like, yeah, I'm just busy with work. And you're just trying to hook up. But you can't tell her that, listen, 
you're not my type to be with in a long term relationship or situation. Okay, so I'm going to share something with you. Um, while I like what he's saying, I feel like he's kind of putting you in, a, in that guy category. This is what I do. And I learned this from the German dude, guys. You, I want you to understand this. That's why I made a video why you should go out with fat and ugly girls. Because the reason being, they repulse you do. You're not really into them. So you treat them any kind of way you want. When you, when you see that you treat them any kind of way, the more you mistreat them or treat them poorly, the more they're into you. So this is what you guys got to understand. You got to switch your paradigm and you got to treat all women like they're fat and ugly, dude. Because the more that you give a woman attention and you put, make you prioritize her and you put on a pedestal, the more she'll treat you like, the more you treat a woman like a fan, the more you, she'll treat you, man, like you're just some kind of a groupie, dude, or a fanboy. But the more you treat a woman like you don't really, she's not all that, you're not into her. I don't care how fine she is, how sexy, how fat her butt is, bro. The more the woman's, it's just the way they're wired, dude. I'm just trying to explain to you. I know it's not intuitive, but it's just how it is. You should treat all women like they're fat and ugly, bro, even the ones you like. And the ones that you really like, you got to ask yourself, do you like her more than you like yourself, man? And the answer should always be no. I like myself more than I like her, so treat her accordingly. Like she's a fat, ugly chick. So let's just keep this casual. Come on over. Come on over after dark. So this is what women are doing. They're like, you know what? All these guys in my DMs, all these guys in my phone, they don't really turn me on. I don't like them like that. The type of guy I like, that one dude, he's not trying to commit to me. So I'm going to punish all these other guys that I don't like. I'm going to make them take me over here. I'm going to make them change my tires. I'm going to make them do repairs around my house. I'm going to make them you know, take me on dates. But I'm not going to take anything. So just like a girl that you like, treat her like a, a fat, ugly girl you don't like. Just have her come over. Just smash her. Don't take her nowhere. Don't compliment her. Don't do nothing with her. Just smash her. And then just always be busy, bro. And then, man, she'll grow attraction toward you. And then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to determine if it's something you want to have long term. But me personally, um, I don't really think in westernized countries it's worth the juice is not worth the squeeze of having a long-term relationship. What I want to do, I want to do like, um, I want to do like the German dude taught me, man, is you just keep the girl on rotation as long as she keeps herself on rotation. You keep doing what you do, and then when she gets tired of it, like really, really tired of it, she'll fall off the rotation. Now, it may take a couple of weeks, it might take a couple of months, heck, it might take a couple of years. Never change your program. Always be on your purpose, dude. And the one that's meant to be, listen to me, the one that's meant for you to be, she'll respect your draft, she'll respect your purpose, she'll respect your grind, and she'll stay around. And then you'll get to see for yourself that, hey, maybe I can start treating her differently because she earned it. This is what women are doing to dudes. And it's messed up because a lot of dudes think that the more I do for a woman, the more she's going to be attracted to me. I'm going to get my chance. But it never works like that. If a woman does not have high interest in you, Nothing you do, you can take her to the moon, you can take her around the world a thousand times. You won't turn her on. It's over. Just Okay, guys, I want to share something with you. I think Darius, she, he, she says some good stuff most of the time. Let me share something with you, man. This is from the wisdom of an old dude, an old warrior dude. Even a woman that has high interest in you, just the way women are, are built, they're like kitty cats, bro. I don't know if you've ever been around kitty cats, bro. But the more attention you give a cat, the less, the more it ignores you, man. But the less attention you give a cat, the more it wants you. So even if a woman you have high interest in, bro, don't be doing a lot of stuff for her, man. Make her always question and doubt, you know, how your feelings are for her. Because of the, the moment you start doing a lot of stuff for a woman, even if her interest is high, trust me when I tell you that interest is going to... I've done many social experiments, scientific experiments, the women that thought I was the world. And so I was just like, you know what, man? She's been treating me kind of cool and she's been really doing me good and everything. I'm going to start doing more stuff. For, and the more stuff I start doing for her, the, mess, the, the less attraction she had for me. So I just got pissed off and I quit doing everything. And then she's really attracted. So just follow that, guys. Walk away. Go deal with a woman who actually likes you. I just pulled into McDonald's and this lady is holding this spot in front of this van for her husband to cut us all in the drive through so she can get her McDonald's first. There is a line for a 
fucking reason. Do you ever use guys to get drinks? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. You think that's cruel? You're wasting the money? Um, if they're smart, they won't fall for it. So let me tell you something, guys. You know, it's not about you being smart. You just got to understand female nature, bro. You don't do anything for a woman until she's earned it, until she's done something for you. Now, you guys might be thinking because you're desperate or you're thirsty or you're needy, like, no, you suck back. I'm not on your level. I got to do stuff for women. What I'm telling you, the more you do for them, the less you're going to get. So if you ain't, you're already not getting anything from them, and here you are leading with your wallet or your attention, your free attention, you just, man, she's just going to put you further down beneath her feet while she's got some poop on the bottom of her shoe, dude. So what you got to do is just like, man, it's just it's just a matter of if you're already beating your meat and you're watching porn, just continue to do that until you just run into some women, man, that's, that's basically going to be in compliance with what you want to do because you just chasing after them and buying them stuff and doing stuff for them. They don't appreciate it, dude. And look at this woman, man. She's Hey, dude, right now she's a five. So just imagine without makeup on, she's a two. Look at her body. The first time you pop a baby in her, dude, she's going to be fat. Like, look at her little munchkin body right there. Her belly's just waiting to, just to blow up, dude. So all I'm saying is, like, man, don't don't be a court jester, man. Stop doing for women, man. Let women do for you, man. But they're dumb. They, they're dumb. Come on. Yeah. How many guys bought you drinks today? And this is what I mean by let a woman do for you. When you meet a woman, dude, make your intentions clear. Don't be like little Tommy, though, like, hey, you want to fuck? You want to come over to my house and fuck? You want to suck my dick? Like, that's that's immature, man. But what you want to do when you meet a woman, say, hey, you know what? I really like your energy, and I think maybe you and I could be good friends, but I'm not quite sure about you. But right now, I'm, I'm going to go to a business meeting. Hey, call my cell phone, because I'm going to tell you something interesting about yourself that I noticed that you might not be aware of. And uh, call my cell phone. I'm going to hit you up later. And then when you hit her up later, just like, hey, come over to my place for some drinks. And I'm going to tell you about what I, what I saw about you. You're always mad. You're pushing to have them come over because the first thing is, what's the woman going to do for you? She's going to suck you off and let you hit it. Then you can think about maybe buying her a drink, man, when you go out, man. But until then, you, some woman you meet in a club, man, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Uh, one so far. One. Did they did they have a chance? No. 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 <laughs> Guys, the blueprint is out. The cheat sheet is available to you. There should be no reason why you're buying women drinks, why you're doing all these different things for women, and she's not doing anything for you. That woman is, to be honest with you, she's like a two out of ten. She's well below uh -huh. average in love. She's not appealing, but she's boasting about men buying her drinks. She's telling you guys, dude, you have no shot. The more drinks you buy me. And let me clarify something. A lot of you guys don't understand this because it took me to come to Vegas to understand this. But, like, here in Vegas, man, I'll be honest with you, you got a lot of eights and nines and tens. Heck, they even got 11s and 12s. They even got 15s. They got some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And for a lot of you guys, really beautiful women, you know, you feel like either one of two things. Like, one, all the guys are hitting on them. Or, two, they're out of your league, so you don't even try. But here's... Here's what I call that's the uh, that's the scarce mentality. Here's what I want to share with you, man. You guys are thinking that these women that look like this, these uh, these 49ers fours that think they're nines. You think nobody's hitting on them? That's the reverse because there's a lot more guys like you that that think the tens are out of their league or they're they're intimidated by the tens or they think the tens are getting hit on by everybody and they don't want to bother them. So they go after these little pudgy girls. But let me tell you something. I want to, I want you to understand this. Ugly women get fucked way more than beautiful women, bro, because only the beautiful women, first of all, is only going after the top 10%, not even 20%, the top 10% of the men. They're very picky. They're very choosy. And you know what I mean? They only mess with the ballers, man. And they, they wait around for the ballers to get to them, right? And so whereas these little pick-me girls, these little 49ers, man, Guys that don't have game or are horny, they feel that they, you know, they feel that they, that that girl is is in their league and that that's something they can get. They're smashing them all the time, so don't be fooled, bro. Ugly girls get fucked way more than hot girls. The more foolish you gotta look. So why do it, guys? Why go out of your way? 
And the reason why most men do these things because they don't think they're good enough. Like, you know, man, that girl's attractive, or I really want her, and I and, and, and I don't know what to do, so let me just pull out my wallet. It's like dudes do this by default because they're trying to buy a woman. Here's the thing. The more you try to buy a woman, the more you try to do for her, the less attractive she's going to be to you. This is why you ask yourself, man, that dude don't have no job. Her ex-boyfriend was a loser. Her ex-boyfriend was in jail. He was this. But guess what? That dude turned her on. So he didn't have to do anything. And that's facts, guys. That's why I'll be trying to send you guys over to my Patreon so you can watch my video series, How to Find Your Archetype. Because once you find your archetype like me, dude, you don't have to be buying women stuff and paying for stuff because you being who you are, the women the women that like that will be naturally attracted to that. Let me say something. Am I attracted to all women? No. I'll be honest with you. Like Out of every 10 women, Maybe one woman will find me attractive, you know what I mean? Or two will find me like, you know, okay, I'm I'm open to this conversation. But the other seven, man, they don't even look at me, dude. I'm invisible and I don't really give a shit, bro, because I don't want a woman that doesn't want me. You wanna you wanna go after the women that want you guys, it's gonna make you have a much easier life. Hey, guys, stop out women drinks. When you go out, if you have to, leave your credit card, leave your debit card, leave all that at home. Take you about twenty dollars, ten dollars to get in. Uh, how much money to buy yourself a couple of drinks, and that's it. Stop pulling your wallet out for these ungrateful women who are not even attractive. I mean, just think about it. If these chicks take their makeup off, how would they look? But this is how thirsty dudes are. And women know if I go to this club, if I go to this bar, all I gotta do is put my war paint on. All I gotta do is put a nice dress on, a nice skirt, or, or put some tight on, and it's gonna be tons of thirsty dudes who're gonna give me attention and free drinks. Heck, why wouldn't you go? Think about it. And most women get in for free or a discount anyway into these events and these spots and these clubs and bars. So it's like a win-win for the females. Stop spending your hard-earned money on ungrateful women. Ask these women, so you gonna buy me a drink? Because there's some women that will come up to you and say, hey, hey handsome, you gonna buy me a drink? And then you buy them a drink, you talk to them for a few minutes, and after that they give you a fake No, No, I always tell them, like, hey, that's interesting, because that's how you came over here to buy me a drink number when they say all right, i gotta go and now you're sitting there looking confused like man i should have bought that drink stop buying women stuff they don't deserve it. walking into the male dominated area of the gym to intimidate men back okay so i gotta pause it man so did you see how that dude stepped out of the way i'm gonna tell you something man this is what i've learned i'm not trying to tell you what the guys are doing i'm telling you what i do because i'm not that guy if I'm in the gym and I'm walking through the doorway and a woman's walking through, she's going to have to get out of my way or we just going to collide, bro. Because the days of chivalry is over. And, you know, you don't want to be that guy who's practicing chivalry and old school stuff in a new world of feministic women dominate men. And you're the guy that they're walking all over, stepping on your pee pee and balls because you ain't nothing but a bench warmer, mangina soy boy. 